longer active, the officers continued to check out the block, as there was still a chance that the iPhone could be at that last detected location. I.O. Jeremy and the officers carried out door-to-door -door inquiries with the residents in that block. Not all the residents responded to our queries. However, those who responded, we did not find anything suspicious. So what next? Okay, I'll need you to give me your IMEI number of your iPhone. Uh, you can continue to track your iPhone every hourly or so and keep me posted immediately. Okay. Right, thank you. As it was in the early hours of the morning and many residents were already in bed, I or Jeremy and his team decided to return later in the morning to continue interviewing the rest of the residents in the block. So, do you find anything yet? I lost the signal. How does this work? Anyway, like GPS? Yes, but the phone needs to be switched on for the GPS to pick up the signal. Now the phone is switched off. Hey, why don't you go and get some sleep? Let me take over. It's okay, I can't sleep anyway. Thank you. Meanwhile, back in the office, the officers check their database of past offenders to look for possible suspects who fit the description of having tattoos on both arms. My phone is switched on again. Where? Hi, Miss Deborah. Um, I owe Jeremy. My phone is on again. Oh, really? Where's it now? It's somewhere in Geylang. I owe Go and his team arrived at Geylang and began searching the area with the help of Deborah. Is the line still active? You know, wait, hang on, the signal's gone. The phone has been switched off. The last active location was between Lorong 14 and 16 Gela. The officers knew that there were only two second-hand handphone shops in that row of shop houses and suspected the thief must have been trying to sell off the phone to one of them. Hi, I'm Investigation Officer Jeremy Goh from Central Police. Did anyone sell your iPhone 4 today? Yes, a guy. Can you show me the phone? The IMEI number of the handphone matched that belonging to Deborah. Yes, this is the stolen phone. How does this person look like? He's a Malay guy with tattoos on both arms. Do you have the particulars of the person who sold you this phone? He is Adrian Bindoya Hulk, 18 years of age, a work permit holder from Sabah. Using the particulars from the handphone shop, the officers were able to track down the suspect to a food court at Singapore General Hospital. We are from police. Are you Adrian Bindoyahan? Yes. We need you to come back with us to the station to assist in a case of snatch theft. Can you turn around? He was placed under arrest for suspicion of snatch theft. Do you know why you are arrested? Yes. What do you do? After extensive interviews, Adrian admitted to snatching Deborah's iPhone and later selling it for $200. Why do you do it? I was stressed. Got no money. Adrian Bindoya Han was charged with snatch theft and convicted and sentenced to 12 months imprisonment. Adrian Bindoya Han, a work permit holder, was arrested by police within 24 hours of his crime. This quick and successful arrest was made possible by the handphone application. However, equally instrumental in the success was the role played by the victim and the community in helping the team of investigation officers from Central Police Division. It was the willingness of the victim and family to go the extra mile to assist the police in our investigation, coupled with the good record keeping of the second-hand handphone shop dealer. Indeed, we can have the best technology in the world, but without the police officers working closely with the community, Technology alone will not bring us the optimal result. Hi, I'm Joanne Pace. Handphones have come a long way since they were first introduced in the 80s. 
Now, they are way more sophisticated in design and technology. In recent years, smartphones have become really popular. They have a ton of cool applications and are highly desirable, not just to you and me, but to thieves too. So if your smartphone is stolen, don't worry. Now there's a way to find it. Whether you have an iPhone, Android or BlackBerry handphone, you can go to iTunes, Android Market and BlackBerry App World websites respectively to download the applications into your phone. You may need to set up an account first before using the applications. For iPhone users, the application is currently available only for iPhone 4. Just search for the application Find My iPhone. For Android users, a useful application is Where's My Droid? And for BlackBerry users, a useful application is Find My Phone. Once you have downloaded the application, be sure to configure the settings to enable the application on the phone. So if you have lost your handphone or it has been stolen, you can do a quick check using your computer, laptop or any handphone with a similar platform and application. Say if I'm an iPhone user, I can use any Apple device like iPad to locate my missing iPhone. Simply install the Find My iPhone application. Launch it and sign in with my Apple ID and it will show the current location of the phone on a map. Just remember, the same application needs to be installed and enabled on the missing phone, otherwise it would not work. The applications may work differently depending on the type of platform your smartphone is using and some of the applications may require a fee for usage, so be sure to check before you use them. You can go to the respective websites or call your service providers for more information about these applications. It's definitely very useful to have, but you should still report to the police first if you believe your handphone has been stolen, just to be on the safe side. See you next time! As a precaution, you should not leave such valuable items unattended in public places, like placing it openly on a table at an eatery, even if it's for a short while. Remember, if you lose your handphone, you may lose all your important contacts as well. We've come to the end of another episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback or query, do drop us an email. Until next time, I'm DSP Julius Lim, signing out. <laughs>